Hello everyone. Welcome to our beginner classes. Today we will discuss the most important topic of environmental chemistry part that is plume behavior. Okay. So before I would like to start my lecture, I would request you to subscribe our channel and contact us for the latest study material on this number. Okay. You can join our regular classes also. So before I would like to start my lecture, I will tell you something about the stability and the pollutant. Okay. So in modern days, we have seen that industries have grown and they are using their steak heights to throw the air pollutants outside their factory. Okay. So you know that if there is a unstable air what does it means the air e air parcel is rising up okay so it means the air is rising up that means that air will goes higher okay so if the pollutant is there okay at this side okay and the air is rising so it will take the pollutant to the upside okay and it will not come to down okay so this is a good condition for the population okay living in that area so you should remember this okay now let us discuss the first one that is the conic okay conic type of plume the atmospheric temperature in the conic type of plume we know that the atmospheric temperature profile affects the dispersion of the pollutants from the smoke stacks. Okay, so this is the smoke stacks. Okay, this is the chimney. Okay, this is the chimney that is from the industry. Okay, so if a smoke stake were to emit the pollutant into a neutrally stable atmosphere, we might expect the plume to relatively symmetrical. Okay, so if there is a neutral as well as stable atmosphere, we will see that there is a conic type of plume. Okay, so when a velocity exceeds 32 km per hour during a cloud blocking, okay, there is a cloud blocking means no solar radiation is coming. Okay, there is a lots of cloud here. Okay, this is blocking the solar radiation as well as the terrestrial radiation at the night. So a neutral plume tends to form cone like structure. Okay, this is the condition. Okay, under subadiabatic condition. This is a subadiabatic condition. Under subadiabatic conditions. Okay. So this will give the what? Our coning type of plume. Okay, you can see this is the ALR and this is the ELR. Okay, so ALR must be greater than ELR. So this will give coning type of plume. This is in the shape of cone. Okay, so you should remember stable atmosphere, neutrally stable and under subadiabatic conditions and ALR should be greater than ELR. Adiabatic lapse rate should be greater than ELR. Okay, that will be answer. Moving on to the next type of plume behavior, that is the looping type of plume behavior. Okay, so when the atmosphere is very unstable, okay, the atmosphere is very unstable means the air is moving ups and down. Okay, there is a rapid vertical air movement. Okay, as it is saying, that is a rapid vertical air movement, both up and down, both up and down movement is there. Okay, producing a looping plume. This is a looping plume. Here what occurs? Here super adiabatic environment occurs means ELR is greater than ALR. Okay, that is the reverse condition of the coning. Okay, which produces highly unstable atmosphere because of rapid mixing. Okay, so in an unstable atmosphere, rapid air movement takes place vertically both upward and downward. The plumes become looping resulting in the ground level pollutants. You can see the plume is giving the 
pollutant it is coming the ground and the again it is rising again it is coming so this kind of behavior of the plume is seen here here you can see ELR that is ELR ELR is greater than ALR okay so this is the condition okay so to disperse this pollutant it is advisable to design a high stake where the atmosphere is generally super adiabatic okay so if the plume stake height will be like this here you are putting the stake okay it will give like this phenomena it will not come down and it will protect the downstream population okay now moving on to the third type of plume behavior that is the fanning okay in the fanning plume result when a stable atmosphere is greatly restrict the dispersion of the plume okay Re greatly restrict the dispersion of the plume under extreme inversion condition this kind of thing happens okay that means negative lap state should be there okay fanning plume is obtained okay under a condition of inversion stable environment condition exist just above the stake and the plume does not move upward but horizontally okay occurs generally in less turbulence condition so there should not be any kind of turbulence you can see this is a inversion condition what does inversion condition means as we know if we are rising the air gets cooler okay but if you are rising and the air gets hotter that means it will a inversion condition okay so here you can see there is a restriction the pollutant is not coming down and the pollutant is not going up it is going horizontally so this is a fanning type of plume okay you should remember the conditions now moving on to the next one that is the fumigating type of plume okay in a fumigating type of plume just opposite to the lofting one okay under the condition of negative lapse rate inversion just above the streak and the strong super adiabatic rate lapse rate below the stake the type of plume is obtained is called as fumigating plume as you can see here okay this is the plume height okay here below the stake there is a strong super adiabatic okay above there is a negative inversion lapse rate okay this kind of system can be seen okay under these conditions the pollutant cannot escape above the stake rather they come down near the ground due to turbulence and mixing fumigating is therefore extremely bad for the dispersion of the pollutant because no upward movement only downward movement is taking place so it is very very harmful to the downward population okay so you should remember this so in the lofting in the lofting kind of plume behavior we have a stack is above the inversion layer okay mixing in the upward direction is uninhibited okay mixing is not occurring in the upward direction but the downward motion is generally restricted okay due to inversion stable air okay such a lofting helps keeps the pollution high above the ground reducing the exposure to the people downwind okay under the condition of strong superior adiabatic lapse rate just above the stake negative lapse rate inversion just below the opening of the stake lofting plume is obtained so this is best one because here there is a inversion condition okay that restrict the movement of pollutant to the ground but it will move to the up okay so this kind of behavior is highly useful i hope you enjoyed the lecture and understand all the things if you have some comments you can ask me in the comment box i will help you okay have a nice day